Today we are live in front of the TV cameras once again as Crystal Palace are at the John Smith Stadium. Can we put some points on the board? Oh, these? Yeah, you might need to get used to the letter L. Welcome back to the channel guys, it is episode 3 and we are as I say at home to Crystal Palace and as I said in the intro there, it's not been great, um, you can see just look at those results, just yeah, it's um, it's kind of embarrassing really, so after the after the Bournemouth game we, we came into the West Ham game full of confidence, full of optimism and we, we just got outdone by um, just by Javier Hernandez he was just class uh, it was the difference between the teams literally he scored all three of their goals he was just clinical he was the world-class striker the world-class finisher that we all know and love and he you know it just goes to show the harsh realities of this division when you have a player like that he makes the difference and he certainly did in that game we we didn't create an awful lot but it it was it was the quality of Hernandez's finishing that was the difference. Uh, we then went to Glanford Park and took on Scunthorpe, and we got a really good four 0 win. Van La Parra, Sabiri, Kwana, and Depuatra all scoring. Um, three of those, Sabiri, Kwana, and Depuatra, were their first goals for the club. Uh, it was a, a really dominant performance you would expect against a, a league League One opposition. Um, and it got us a home tie against Leicester. Of course, you can see ahead. We're getting to it. Don't worry. Um, we then went away to Leicester, and it was a brilliant match for a nil-nil. It was such a good game. Uh, there were chances at both ends. We both hit the woodwork. Uh, we both had our keepers making some good saves, and it was it was a fair result in the end. The, the stats were pretty much identical all the way through. It's a really really good point. And then came the champions, Chelsea at home, and oh my word. Did we get schooled in this match? So Alvaro Morata scored. Elias Kachunga lashed in a volley just a minute later to get us back on par. And then Eden Hazard decided to play. And oh, did he play? He got four goals. He was absolutely ridiculously good. Uh, Chelsea just, they looked like they were going to score with every single attack. It was it was a proper schooling. It was a really, really tough lesson to take. I was just open mouthed watching it. I could not believe it. Uh, but if ever anyone ever doubts if a YouTuber cheats on their series, if they if they quit and reload to get a better result, there's your proof. We don't do it. That was seven one. Um, and yeah, that one that, that hurt. Um, and we went away to Southampton, and we just we'd never got going. Uh, Manolo Gabbiadini scored a penalty, and then just scored an unbelievable volley from the edge of the box um, ball over the top he just ran onto it lashed it left footed Jonas Lursel had no chance whatsoever um, and Nathan Redmond scored seconds into the second half Dupatra did get his first league goal for the club uh, with a nice header from a really good move actually um, but yeah we wouldn't we were never really in it we didn't play too badly I think 3-1 slightly flattered Southampton um, but I, I wouldn't have said we did enough to get a win and then we had Leicester at home in the Carabao Cup in the third round and it was the end of the road for us a breakaway goal just a, it, it was from one of our corners they just cleared it and Vardy was away and we were never going to catch him our centre-backs aren't the quickest he was away and he fired it in from the edge of the box and put Leicester through to the next round so it's not brilliant form at the minute if we click on the league table you can see Bournemouth surprisingly are top um, and we unsurprisingly are bottom um, now I have checked um, just to illustrate how hard this season is going to be on my Barcelona series obviously I've still got that save in in the game and I I went in and had a look and they got relegated they finished bottom in the first season did Huddersfield they then finished second in the championship and came straight back up and they finished bottom in the Premier League again so yeah and in my um, FM 2042 my into the future little series that I did um, they finished 
I think they finished 18th in the first season, then got back up through the playoffs and then finished bottom. So just to illustrate how hard this is going to be for us, they'd get relegated all the time. And as you can see, Crystal Palace, today's opponents, are currently in 11th with two wins and two draws from their five games. Christian Benteke is actually there in the, uh, at the top of the scorer's charts as well with five goals already. So that's a frightening prospect ahead of today's match. And the big thing we've got to worry about today really is just what formation we're going to play because I am. it, it's, it seems to not matter what, we, what, what formation we play. Um, the Leicester game that we've just played, the Carabao Cup, we we went with the back three because against Chelsea and against Southampton, playing a back four, we were just getting smashed. The the centre backs were getting caught, they were getting split, and there were just gaps. So I went for a back three, and then we just got split and got caught again on the counter attack with the uh, with the Leicester goal. But we did only concede one, which was a bit of a, a bit of a moral victory. So I don't really know what we're going to go with today. Um, I've got it set at the moment at the our Barcelona control formation, um, and I'm I'm tempted to go with this today. I've played quite a lot of formations so far, and none of the, <laughs> none of them are working. Um, we've got the four four one one that I'm. I'm thinking about building because that's what Leicester just used against us and got us on the counter-attack. Now the problem I've got is that Dean Hoyle, our chairman, is unmoving on the philosophy of keeping possession and that is really going to hamstring us, I think. I think I'm going to have to go against that and maybe build a counter-attack system, get that empty bucket in maybe and start going with that. The only problem with the empty bucket is that, um, can I get it set up here? Um, let's have a hang on let's bring one up bear with me here it is the empty bucket the, the problem with it is it, it means Aaron Moy playing massively out of position um, but I quite like the idea of it of getting the ball getting it out wide and getting it into the box but again it's a, it's a case of getting the player roles right and the team instructions right and I haven't got time to be sorting a, fix, a, um, a formation out this is the uh, the back three formation that we played against Leicester in the uh, in the Carabao Cup. Uh, we've called it the fighter jet because it kind of looks like one. Um, and I'll ignore the players in the positions. They're currently the lineup for the the uh, the control formation. Um, we did we did all right. We didn't dominate the possession despite being on a retained possession and Leicester playing a counter attack. They still managed to get more of the possession. So I'm not really sure how that worked. Um, I've I've never really set up a a back three formation before in well it's been a long long time I used to 10 12 years ago I used to play like a 5-3-2 um, I don't think I'm going to be able to get that working in here and I, I really don't know whether to just go back to basics with a 4-4-2 or a 4-1-4-1 or a 4-4-1-1 or something like that just two banks of four is that the way I should be going for it and what about this whole possession thing do I do I just go against that and then deal with it when he when the uh, when the board call me in for a meeting or you know what do we do um we're going to go with the 433 control today jump in the comments um oh that's changed that around um yeah jump in the comments and let me know what you think i should do in the formation and if you do play a back three and you've got any sort of um any sort of success with one maybe uh, maybe let me know and uh, i'll just give you my email address and you can, you can send it me um so yeah let's um let's pick this team and let's get on with it here are the teams for today's match it's a 4-2-3-1 from crystal palace and the great news is that their top scorer benteke is on the bench uh, he's got five goals in the league he's got eight in all competitions so he obviously uh, smashed in a hat trick in the league cup they do have some good pace though with loftus cheek and townsend experience with kabai and a really strong defense as well and a decent keeper um, so we're hoping that this control formation will get us some joy today because if we lose again today it's looking really 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 bad um, but we're going to get into them we're going to um, uh, we're going to I don't know what do we we're going to go just calmly why is that stress Steve Mooney out we've calmly said go out there and give these fans their money's worth I'm going to just give Mooney a little pep talk I have faith in you and he's still looking stressed what do you want from me right come on boys 
Let's get the first league win of the season on the board here. Come on, Huddersfield. Players are coming out of the tunnel and the game is about to kick off. Can we get a much needed morale boosting win? Uh, at home, we have been dreadful so far. We have conceded 11 goals in three games in all competitions. Uh, we desperately, desperately need to put an end to that today. Andros Townsend looking to set Soloth away down the right. They're coming into the middle to support him now. It's Kabai on for Sacco and Lursel with the first save of the match. And it's a good save as well. He stayed up big. This is a worrying start to the game for us though. And oh, we're in trouble. It's off the line by Hadajanai. We are really getting pegged back here. This is not good. Kabai looks to spray the ball out to the left. But Hadajanai will get to that. Back to Jonas Lursel. And back out again to the right back. Cross to Schindler now. This is better. Get the ball down, boys. Get a feel for it. Come on. Elias Kachunga. Aaron Moy. Forward for Steve Mounier. Good ball for Danny Williams. Danny Williams into the box and brings a save out of Wayne Hennessy. It's an easy save. It was straight at him. Wrong player for it to fall to, really. But there's Schindler. And that's a fabulous save from Schindler's header. What a bullet header that was. A brilliant save from Wayne Hennessy. Oh, we were almost in the lead there. What a header from the German centre-back. That was spectacular. Sacco lines up this free kick and he rifles it just over the bar. Lursel goes long with the goal kick to Kachunga. Lovely take from the German. Malone to Schindler. Back to the left back. Forward again to Kachunga. Mounier is looking to make the run, but we're getting caught again here. We've won it back. Well done, Chris Schindler. Well done. This is... This is better. This is looking a lot better. I mean, that 7-1 defeat to Chelsea was just ridiculously bad. Um, I was, like I said, I was watching it open mouth. What a ball. Tom Ince must score. Oh. Goalless at half time and I am reeling from that chance that Tom Ince just missed. And we've had the header from Schindler and we've had the chance for Danny Williams as well. Since that early storm at the start of the game from Palace when they just threw everything at us for the first 10 minutes or so we've done really well I mean look at that 60% possession seven shots with four on target and we've got in behind them a couple of times as well we've been dangerous from the corners so the signs are there they're encouraging and it, these are the games that we need to get points out of in order to stay up it's not going to be games against Chelsea and Tottenham and Arsenal that keep us up points in those games are a huge huge morale boosting bonus but these are the games against Palace and the like that we need to win. So we are going to say, we're going to stay calm and we're going to say we've been a better team. Just keep doing what you've been doing and we'll be fine. Because I genuinely believe that. I think we have been really good. This is probably the best half we've had this season so far. So I think we can get out there and I think we can find the goal that we need in this second half. Come on boys, let's do it. Steve Mounier kicks off the second half. The fans are well behind the team. Can we get the breakthrough? The play has been there. We just need a little bit of quality in front of goal. Maybe a little bit of luck. And we can get the points on the board. Here's Tom Ince looking for Aaron Moy. Go on, hit one, son. He's gone for Mounier. Little one, two. Goes out looking for Malone. And it's cleared away. But we're back with a highlight straight away. Mounier, lovely touch. Plays it back to Jonathan Hogg. Zanka forward for Danny Williams. Spread out lovely to Scott Malone. This is lovely play. Aaron Moy. Oh, he's been tackled by Rakip though. And Soloth will bring it away. And it's a lot more direct, you can see, from Palace. And Andros Townsend. Oh, and back to Kabai. And what a save by Jonas Lursel. That was absolutely incredible. What a save. And Rakip has headed on for the bar from the corner. Jonas Lursel will take the goal kick out to Zanka. They're closing down there, aren't they? They're uh, pressing really high up. Here's Tom Ince to Aaron Moy. 61% possession we have had. Elias Kachunga cutting in field nice. Oh, and then it's a poor ball, but Kabai's giving it away to Mounier. Ince has played Williams in, and we have scored. It's a goal for Danny Williams. It's his first goal for the club. It's brilliantly taken. It must be fractional offside here, I think. There must be a big hint of it. Kabai turned on the ball, turned straight into his... his uh, to Mounier and Williams was just on side and he finishes well. What a pass from Tom Ince. 
straight in from the kickoff. That's never a good sign, is it? Sacco plays it four for Kabai. Loftus Cheek four for Ben Teke, who must did he come on at half time? I didn't see that. Uh, Aaron Moy, Scott Malone. Kachunga, go on Mounier, make the run, make the run, make the run. Oh, the ball is awful to look for him though. Palace will come again at us now. Andros Townsend, that is a ball to Sacco. And this is going to be 1-1, no. Jonas Lersel again is saving us here. Big, big save and a good clearance on the follow-up. Goodbye with the corner. And Loftus Cheek this time heads just over. Aaron Moy. Oh, he's been upended there by... Rakip, who's been booked. He's already been booked. He is going to go here. Palace are down to 10 as Erdan Rakip is sent off. What a big moment in this game with an hour gone. We are going to chuck out a little encouraged shout out for that now because that's a big, big moment in the game. Come on, we did that shout out like five minutes ago, ref. What is going on? Right, substitution time. Double substitution then. We're taking off Tom Ince because he's just picked up a knock. Uh, the message just came through as I uh, as I hit pause to make the substitutions. So we're bringing uh, Rahi Van Lepara on, on the right wing. And we, we're playing him as a winger. Still got the look for overlap instruction on. And Steve Mounier's had an awful game. He's still looking very nervous. So Lauren de Poitre is coming on for him. Um, and yeah, so we've got one winger, one inside forward. Um, I didn't show you before the match either, did I? Uh, we brought in a loan on deadline day Brahim Diaz a Spanish midfielder from Manchester City I'll show him after the game let's get back let's see if we can hang on 22 minutes to go three crucial points are they're within the they're within our grasp Jeffrey Schlupp with the throw to Kabai Hadjanai and Van La Parra get the ball back here's Schindler out to Malone Kachunga Aaron Moy played forward for De Poitre. oh what a tackle by uh Whoever that was on De Poitre. That was a big, big tackle, wasn't it? Hennessy will kick it forward long. Had a Janai free header though, but he's it's a loose one given away. Here's Schlup. Johan Kabai out for Soare. Schlup. Benteke in the middle and he's hit the bar. And there's a scramble and Hogg has cleared. I was just trying to check there in the commentary. I think it hit the woodwork rather than a save from Lursel. But... Uh, yeah, that is the problem now, isn't it? They've got Benteke on. They're getting it out wide. They've got Schlupp on, who's a really good winger as well. We are, and obviously Andros Townsend on the other end as well. So we're really up against it in these final 15 minutes or so, unless we can get a second goal here. Aaron Moy to Kachunga. Back to the Australian. Danny Williams now. Keeps hold of the ball well. Hogg, De Poitra. Go on, you've got Hadajanai out there. Here he is. Back in field to Hot Boy. This is lovely passing. We're just keeping the ball. Kachunga now. Gets it across. Oh, and Danny Williams, narrow angle, but it hit the post. Final substitution is being made. Philip Billing is coming on for Danny Williams in the box-to-box -box midfielder role. It's a role that he plays naturally as well. Um, we can see there Rahi Van La Parra has just picked up a knock as well, but he's going to have to stay on. I can't take him off. I've got no one on that I could bring on in his place. Um, so... Yeah, let's hope that Phil Billing can just help us uh, shore up that midfield a bit. Aaron Moy looks, oh, that's an ambitious pass and Townsend has picked it up and Kabai. So Van La Parra has apparently got a bruised knee, so he should be able to play through that no problem, as long as that's all it is. Um, we gave another little encouraged shout out as well, but um, Benteke is going to get on the end of that. He's headed it just over again. Yeah, we gave another encouraged shout out. I didn't want to get too confusing, too too complicating with like a get creative or a demand more or a concentrate just gave them an encourage just to let them know that what they're doing they're doing well um here's van la para now it's a great run a low cross and he we could have done with it we've got it set to mixed and uh, we probably should have had it on float or whipped i think there because that low cross was poor and van la para's decisions are terrible as we have already established in this series um, here's Andros Townsend. They've had 14 shots now. Oh, Benteke, he must be offside. Oh, come on. The goal stands. It's 1-1. It's been coming. Benteke has terrorised our centre-backs. But that must have been... There must have been a call for offside there. Oh, that is a tight one. Oh. We have got one minute of normal time. There are five minutes of added time. Here's Phil Billing. Hadajanai, we're up against 10 men, but oh, that's awful from Hadajanai. What was that? Was that a shot or a cross? It's not registered as a shot, so it was a horrible cross is what it was. Um, 
both players missed the header there. It's a bit scrappy here. But Townsend, and you see what I mean when I, why did he shoot there? But you see what I mean there? The, the, uh, the, the centre backs, where were they? They were non existent. They just waltzed through us. Who, who's got 10 men here? Really? Come on. They are playing a 4 2 3 kind of formation. Uh, here's Ward. Suarez, so they're looking for the they're looking for the win themselves as Depatra looks for Kachunga and we're queuing up in the middle here. Come on, this is a great chance. Oh, what was that from Van La Parra again? And that was the last kick of the game. It's finished 1-1. I'm I'm I am very, very disappointed. I'm I'm really happy that we've got a home point that we haven't lost at home. Um, this is the first time at home that we've avoided defeat. Uh, it's another draw. It moves us on to three points, but it's not enough, is it? We can't draw games. We need we need to win games, especially at home against our relegation rivals. We just need to win these games. And I mean, 62% of the possession, we ended up not creating an awful lot in that second half, in all fairness, other than the goal. Um, and you can see Palace, they, they smashed us on the counter-attack. Benteke on another day would have had a hat-trick. Uh, he had a couple of headers narrowly over, didn't he? And in the end, probably a, a good point, but uh, considering recent results, but considering it was against a relegation rival and it was at home and they had 10 men, that's a very, very disappointing draw in the end. But we are going to say you were unlucky, I think. I'm going to just say you were unlucky today because we were the better team. We had all that possession um, and it's just a chance. I mean, that, that chance just before half time off, uh, half half an hour in from Tom Ince. If you'd have put that away, things would have been a lot easier for us, wouldn't they? But not to be. It's a point. It's something to build on. It's a very good point in terms of the league table. It lifts us off the bottom. It puts Brighton bottom. It keeps us just a point away from safety. Uh, we've got two games left to play this weekend. We've got Everton against Newcastle and then Watford host Southampton in the Monday night game. So that will have both games have a big bearing on the bottom end of the table. Uh, so if we have a look at the schedule now, oh, it's nice to bring that run of reds to an end. Um, so we've got Newcastle away and then Man United and Tottenham coming up. Oh, Stoke at home, Liverpool away and then Burnley at home. The plan is going to be, I think, to do the Burnley game. It's a nice little war of the roses, Yorkshire v Lancashire. I want to do another home game as well, I think, desperately trying to get that win. Depends when I get to record. It might be the Stoke game, um, but it'll be one of those two. It'll either be Stoke or Burnley. I am not showing you getting hammered at Newcastle or by Man United, Tottenham or Liverpool. That uh, is not happening. Um, so it will be Stoke or Burnley. But guys, if you did enjoy that, it was a much better performance than we've been putting in recently. Smash that like button for me and subscribe and turn on all the notifications. Uh, follow me on Twitter if you have it, at GamerJamesFM, and I will see you very, very soon for the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye-bye.